Hello and welcome to Alabama Extension and we're going to talk about some pheromone insect traps today. Uh, right here is an insect trap that is uh, installed on the Jan Garrett farm and uh, this is a uh, your very inexpensive wing pheromone trap. This trap was installed about 10 days back and this is a this is a specific um, monitoring tool for squash vine borer. Uh, you can also get some other commercial traps for uh, corn earworm, uh, European corn borers, and all the other in the Lepidopteran insects you want to um, you want to estimate the population of. The major benefit of this uh, these pheromone traps are well, they're inexpensive. The other thing is they tell you about what insects are active. Uh, they will not tell you about how many caterpillars are there in the crop, but uh, it will tell you the population pressure, the activity, um, and it will help you make decisions uh, on. Uh, insecticide spraying if you are not an organic producer. Uh, but here's a squash vine borer trap and this is a sticky bottom and you can see those large moths on the uh, on the sticky trap right here there's about three or four moths in there on the trap and uh, that kind of gives us the idea of what's going on on the farm here. Um, last year was a very bad squash vine borer year uh, we had plenty of uh, squash vine borer, especially in the organic gardens and organic farms. So uh, organic producers really need to watch for this insect because the moth will lay eggs at the base of the squash plant and the, the caterpillar will then feed inside the plant. Once it's mature, it will drop out of the, uh, it will come out of the stem and drop into the ground and pupa and over winter. And then the, f the following year, it can come back um, in, 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 a, in a bad situation and if you don't do anything you'll have a bad situation. One of the best ways to probably counter squash vine borer is crop rotation. Uh, for organic producers there's not much to do for soil pest but anyway this does gives you an idea of what the insect looks like. It does the automatic insect identification for you um, and for any further questions please contact a regional extension agent of the Alabama Cooperative Extension. Uh, or you can give me a call. My number is 251-331-8416.